Here we are back on the main wash, 2 hours 18 on the clock now, and as you can see, the suds are arriving. Probably much bubbling up.
Over in immigration, officers are trying to work out if this Korean passenger is a genuine tourist. But she's just revealed another reason for being here. But at this stage, her answers are not convincing immigration. So who pays for her? Who pays her accommodation and everything? Well, the nephew looks after her. She didn't answer my question when I did ask her how is he going to support her that for that student visas. Mm -hmm. I have to go back and ask her. But at this point of time, it looks like she doesn't have any incentive to reach her back to She's not employed. Mm -hmm. And all she's doing is looking after the child. Mm -hmm. she be paid for the individual? No, no new remuneration involved. That's what she said. With little incentive to return to Korea, no form of income, and no right to work in Australia, the woman's case hangs in the balance. At the Sydney Mail Centre, Customs Officer Arthur has flagged a suspicious package picked up through the Customs Inspection line. The declaration uh, read uh, toys, but uh, I think there's more than toys inside this carton. It uh, indicated to me tablets, um, what type of tablets, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to open it and uh, find out what they are. Often there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for a package's contents. This will be uh, lollies uh, until I open up and have a look. But once again, why did it declare that they were lollies? You just had toys only. By law, Australian Post is required to open packages before customs officers begin their inspection. All full of toys. This, this is the uh, parcel with the tablets. The heavily wrapped package already stands out from the other items. It's all uh, toys as declared. This has been very well packed, so uh, I don't think it's lollies. I've got blue tablets. In Brisbane, quarantine supervisor Daryl needs to decide what's next for the passenger. We've got to look at this first and we'll see what, what next reaction we have to take. There are a number of seeds there that we have no idea what they are and he doesn't even know what they are. He knew he had them and he should have declared them. So without knowing exactly what they are, in this case he's going to be issued with a and we should be quarantine infringement notice. Yeah. As I explained to you before, once you make your declaration and you sign a card, it becomes a legal document. But had the situation been very slightly different, it would have been prosecution, it would have been going to court, and we would have been looking at thousands of dollars. So in this instance, consider yourself very lucky to have a Make sure that it doesn't. Make sure that it doesn't. Because it's only that you won't be so lucky next time around. Okay. earlier on this Israeli passenger's belongings was positive for traces of heroin. So now officers are conducting other tests. Oh my god, it's, we're, gonna, we're starting to have leaks from the draw, as you can probably see. However, there are still concerns about the passenger's reason for being here. Is that so water? Oh, story. here it comes. Officers need to find her boyfriend, Monty. Yeah, you're expecting Monty, he's going to be out there. I think she's making the story up because I don't know anybody. Immigration officers trying to verify a Korean woman's story have just discovered a relative waiting for her, and this might change everything. The passenger who I've been interviewing is um, saying that they're here on a student visa, so I just want to know how they're going to. I can't believe just one full cover vessel jail. 
is causing such this at 95 and you can see the suds just coming out of the draw edges I'm going to sort it out. Discussing with Saru and making a decision. She hasn't misled me in any way. She hasn't. Yes, she was a bit iffy about giving her employment details, but she really hasn't misled me in any way. 